if you only knew the power of the dark side. Two. Two. One. Zero. Welcome. Hi, I'm Bob and this is Let's Get Retro in association with RetroOnLim.com. Um, if you've seen my videos before, I've, I've done some stuff for this cab a couple of times, but I did a bit more work on it, so I just thought I'd show off. Um, a couple of things. Firstly, uh, let's open it up there. This was originally a Taito uh, Polaris machine. Um, the control panel was completely screwed, and the monitor had been ripped out. So, uh, there's a, you know, it's an LCD monitor that's in there, but I have enough scan lines and bits and bobs going, but it looks pretty decent. And um, the PC in there says so no Pentium 4. It's a simple for a speaker system, um, and for wireless controls now, it's a little wireless receiver. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's the edging. I need to fix the edging, yes. Um, and there's the network port for the PC put up there. Okay, we'll fix that later on. Um, okay, so, one, two other things I've done. I um, might have mentioned it before, but there was a couple of holes in the side, so I used them to... can't really see there too well, but there's a headphone jack there. Now, what about it down the bottom? I used a kind of little hole that was there, and... Uh, the USB slot there, it's handy for transferring files over the USB uh, driver. You know, I'm not using the Wi Fi or the network card or anything. But the last thing I did is this. Now, I didn't want to add anything else to the cabinet because, I mean, by and large, I want to keep it as stock looking as possible. I mean, the control panel I'm going to have to get an overlay for, but uh, and I wanted a, a, a two player six button control pad, so there's that. But I wanted to try and keep as much of the, the original machine there as I could. So that's why I didn't want it, but it was missing a marquee, so I figured what I'd do is I'd add this. This is an external TV. It's an old TV, and it's working as a monitor. And with the wonders of M Galaxy and a lovely program called Main Hooker. Uh, I'm going to show you this, and of course I own lots of legal copies of Gauntlet. So, uh, oh yeah, that's it. So it's a launching game. I don't know if you can see it there. You get the Gauntlet marquee. Um, oh, I've, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention down the bottom there, I don't know if you can see it, the blue light. That's a little USB hub. Um, and I have a couple of um, arcade sticks, USB ones. So I've set them up so that you can plug two joysticks in. Obviously, you have to put them on a, on a table or whatever. But, uh, you know, two extra joysticks. And you can have four player fun. But, uh, yeah, basically, whatever you stick the. Um, let's see, let me show you a different one. Uh, doesn't work. Uh, you have to obviously have the marquee for it. But, uh, let's see if I can remember one that might have it. Uh, of course, also Blue Rubble. I have a copy of this on there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, it's, it's great. It doesn't do much. I mean, like I said, I'm going to try and... Uh, I keep working with this machine, so I'm going to try and add on um, the option to... For games like Spy Hunter or, or that, that have a light up screen, you know... Uh, stuff in the, the background, like, you know, to tell you oh, what weapon you've got or whatever. I'm going to try and see if I can get that working with it. And then the last thing is maybe get the um, the Versus system that the Mega does, a, the Play Choice 10, was it, on the NES and a few other things. See if we can get them working so the top, like, because they actually wore a dual screen at this, and the top screen is your, uh, tells you how long to, you've left time-wise and a few other, you know, things like your, uh, you know, uh, which game to pick, and then the bottom, your game is obviously down here, so. But there you go, it's just a little bit of an update on what I'm doing with the cab. And I'm nearly finished at this stage, it's, it's, there's not much else I can do with this guy now. But, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you next time.